Louisiana fisherman Kevin Prats usually sells his catch for cash, but he doesn't have documentation. As a result, he says, BP hasn't paid him a dime in compensation while his boat sits idle, unable to fish the Gulf. They want me to show my tax return for the last three years, and I ain't filed tax, and I ain't made much money, you know? Pratt says when he makes good money, he does file taxes. But for the past three years, he hasn't. So he complains he's had no luck in getting BP to pay him for his lost work. They want uh, 07, 08, and 09 tax returns, and I don't have them. So, you know, they just got me on a fire. Faced with similar complaints, BP has eased its requirements. The company no longer is requiring tax returns. People unable to pursue their regular work simply have to show some proof of income. If you don't have a tax return, we'll take a W-2. If you don't have a W-2, just show us a paycheck stub. If you don't have a deposit slip and you're a shrimper or a fisherman, we'll take trip tickets, shrimp tickets, boat tickets, anything that shows you make a living. In, in Louisiana, you make a living on the water. You but know? that didn't yeah. work, complains Pratt. I bought them about 10 check stubs. That wasn't good enough. Along the Gulf Coast, residents acknowledge fishing often is a cash business. Buyers come to the dock and pay cash for seafood fresh off the boat. It's been like that for generations, you know. You go down there, you give them your $200, you get your 100 pounds of shrimp, and, and you leave. So some political leaders argue for an amnesty program to help those in need. Does it mean that these fishermen who, who may have operated on a cash basis will have to change the way they do business? Okay, that might be what it means. But let's not penalize them in the face of a disaster. BP easing its requirements has helped some fishermen collect compensation. If you can mildly document what you're trying to say, you know, that they'll take care of it. They've done right by me. But those who have poor records, like Kevin Pratt's, feel BP's compensation system has left them out in the cold. Yeah.